Earlier today, I reached out to the district attorney's office and the FBI to try and get my hands on the warrants that they're serving. Warrants contain probable cause, the information that points to why the police are searching and what they believe they're going to find. But the warrants in this case are sealed, so we're not going to be able to obtain them. And from our Sky 11 drone, federal and local law enforcement also searched the Halk family farm located out on Pascal Ballard Lane. You can see dozens of law enforcement vehicles parked on the property, a mystery that's been unsolved for five years. The farm plays an important part of the story because Brooks Halk told police he and Crystal were at the farm the night before he realized she was missing. This FBI investigation comes just two weeks after possible human remains were discovered in Nelson County. This is drone footage of the spot the FBI evidence team found those remains, but since then there's been no word on the identity of those remains. The Ballard family tells us they haven't received any information either. Shane McAllister continues our team coverage with what this investigation means to Crystal's family. For this family, it's been a long five years of waiting. I was able to spend some time with Sherry Ballard, Crystal Rogers mom this morning. She says she isn't ready to talk on camera, but it is important for her to tell us and to tell everyone at home just how thankful she is for all of the support and prayers. She says she feels like today she is closer to getting justice for Tommy Ballard, her husband and Crystal Rogers, her daughter than she ever has been before. And she's not alone in that thought. Members of Team Crystal, the group that has searched for Crystal right alongside Tommy before he was killed, says they think this could make the difference too. It's not only Nelson County that's going to get justice today. It would be around the world. The Ballard family says they are incredibly tired and understandably so. It's been two weeks since human remains were found nearby and for two weeks there have been no updates from the FBI. In Bardstown, I'm Shay McAllister. Shay's been following this case since Rogers went missing in July of 2015. Early on, there were several developments in the case, but four months into the investigation, new information seemed to slow. Here's Shay McAllister with a look back at those first crucial months. Crystal Rogers has been missing for five years. Her family has searched, prayed, and fought for answers. I'm going to get those answers one day. Last seen alive on July 3rd of 2015, family says Roger's cousin saw her walking out of Walmart, and then she spent the night with her boyfriend, Brooks Hauk. Hauk told police they were at his mom's farm, feeding the cows, and then they went home. He says he went to bed. So you go to bed, she stays up. What's, what's she doing? She's, she's just on her phone. Uh, playing, I don't know what game, but she normally plays a game. Right. Sometime. July 4th, one day after she is last seen alive, her family starts to worry. They say they can't get a hold of her. Her mom, Sherry Ballard, files a missing persons report at the Nelson County Sheriff's Office. And on July 5th, the first big development. Someone spots Crystal's maroon Chevy sedan on the side of the Bluegrass Parkway. When her dad, Tommy Ballard, goes to see for himself, he finds her keys phone and purse inside. If Chris was out there and can see us, just we're hunting for you. Dozens of friends and family spent the rest of the day and night searching the highway and rural areas surrounding it. But family says Hauk never offered to help. He's had no emotion. It's like nothing's changed to him and to us our whole world has changed. July 6th the family announced a $25,000 reward in her case. The next day July 7th Brooks is brought into an interrogation room at the Nelson County Sheriff's Office where he sits down with Detective Jonathan Snow. He explains when he woke up the couple's baby Eli was in bed next to him and Crystal was gone. And so when you wake up, he's there, but Crystal's not. She's not. Okay. And so did you, um, did you try to call her or? Yes, I noticed, I mean, I noticed that she wasn't there. I didn't know what was, I didn't know exactly what to think. I don't know what time I called her. Yes, I called her that morning. The interview was interrupted by Houck's older brother, who at the time was a Bardstown police officer. Nick Houck telling his brother Brooks he should leave the interview, and he did. On July 10th, the Nelson County Sheriff's Office executes a search warrant at the Hauk family farm. The last place Crystal was said to be alive. This property is the last property that she was seen at, as far as we've been told. Later that week, on July 15th, Brooks' brother Nick is interviewed by the Kentucky State Police. Detectives say they found bodily fluids in his vehicle. He says he can't explain why. 
For the next three months, the family continues to search, walking through woods, wading through water, determined to find the missing mother of five and waiting on word from police. Mid-October, local authorities drop three major developments in the case. First, then Sheriff Ed Mattingly announces Crystal is officially presumed dead. There are certain things that people do that, uh, um, that when they exist on this earth and she has vanished from earth and uh, I think it's safe to say that she's dead. Then we learn Nick Houck has been fired from his job as a Bardstown police officer after the chief said he interfered with his brother's police interview. I was um, less than impressed, uh, was very bothered by some of, of the actions that uh, were displayed. Then we learn Nick Houck has been fired from his job as a Bardstown police officer. Later that same day in October of 2015, the sheriff declares he has his eye on one man in this case. They're looking at one suspect and one suspect only. That's her Rogers live in boyfriend, Brooks Houck. But Brooks Houck is not arrested. He is not charged. These developments in the first four months of the case would be the most tangible as the wait continued for five more years. Nelson County Sheriff Raymond Penaroa sent us a statement earlier today saying in part, I would like to take the time today to thank our team at the Nelson County Sheriff's Office for all the work that they have put into the Crystal Rogers case over the last five years. Shortly after taking office, we began working with the FBI for support in this case. We've worked in partnership with them for the last 19 months. The FBI simply has resources that are not available to us. The FBI says you can help them solve this case. Louisville Special Agent Robert Brown wants the community to think back to July 3rd and 4th of 2015. Anyone with information on the case, no matter how small, can contact the FBI. They've created a $25,000 reward for information leading to Crystal, and you can call them at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Again, that's 1-800-225-5324. The FBI also created a website. You can anonymously post a tip to it. The website will also be updated with the latest information from their investigation. You can find a link to that site in this story on whas11.com. And you can get a link to that story sent directly to your phone. You, all you got to do is text us. Just send the word Bardstown to 502-582-7290. We'll send you back a link to our stories surrounding the Bardstown case.